Hi, I'm Noah Stiles and I did my project on the Washington Square Arch in Washington Square Park, which is located in Greenwich Village, Lower Manhattan. The original Washington Square Arch was built in 1889 by Stanford White to commemorate the 100th anniversary of George Washington's inauguration. It was a wooden arch with columns, an eagle, and Washington at the top. People were able to pass through underneath it. It was so popular to the public that they decided to make a new arch in 1892. The 1892 arch was again designed by Stanford White and it was made more marble looking to better represent the Romans. It even had Roman numerals on the side of a column. There was also a quote from Washington, an eagle, and in the spangles there were angels with trumpets. In 1916 and 1918, statues of Washington were also added on each of the columns. This begs the question, why was an arch chosen for the anniversary of an inauguration? The Washington Square Arch was chosen to be an arch to mirror off the Roman Republic and bring a nationalistic feeling that is similar to the Arc de Triomphe in France. The arch was made for George Washington's 100th anniversary of his inauguration and it served as another way to immortalize him. Washington's face has been reproduced many ways and times throughout the history of America to give Americans a figure that they can attach to and recognize. The triumphal arch that the Washington Square Arch best re reflects is the Arch of Titus. The Arch of Titus was built around 82 AD. It featured two columns, spangles of winged women that symbolized victory, and a quote at the top. Its purpose was to welcome back troops from battle. The quote on top the Arch of Titus reads, The Senate and the people of Rome dedicate this arch to the deified Titus Vespasian Augustus, son of the deified Vespasian, to make it look like the people of Rome wanted the arch. The Arc de Triomphe also influenced the Washington Square Arch because the Arc de Triomphe sparked a sense of patriotism to the French people because it had names of soldiers engraved into the arch for fighting in the Napoleonic Wars. An arch was chosen for Washington's inauguration because Washington is a figure who also brings strong patriotism with him. Washington Square Arch clearly takes after the Arch of Titus with its spandrels that have female allegorical figures. It also has Roman numerals written that translate to 1789 the year Washington was inaugurated. The Roman Triumphal Arch was chosen to immortalize Washington further since the Roman Republic lasted a long time during history and it influences other arches as seen through the Arc de Triomphe. There are coins made of Washington depicted as a Roman emperor because he has on a toga and a wreath around his head. This helps immortalize Washington because he is tied to the Roman Republic. By having Washington's face on coins in the dollar bill, his face is passed around everywhere giving everyone a chance to see and recognize him in America. The Washington Square Arch also has two statues of Washington that help immortalize him. The first is Washington at War that commemorates Washington as a general in the War for Independence. There are two people behind him. On the left is fame and on the right is valor. This is because the war is where he got his fame and he had valor which is courage during battle. This sculpture is also very similar to how Washington looks in the 1851 painting of Washington crossing the Delaware River during the War for Independence because people already had an image of him in their minds from that picture. The second is Washington at Peace that draws attention to his diplomatic efforts in creating America. Behind him in this sculpture is wisdom on the left and justice on the right. These are both qualities Washington strived to have during his presidency. In the Hand of Wisdom is a Latin book, and translated it means the end justifies the deed, which speaks to his need of accomplishing tasks as the first president. Washington at Peace is very similar to Houdin's sculpture of George Washington. In both Washington at War and Washington at Peace, Washington is sculpted from the paintings and sculptures that already existed of him, so he has the same face that everyone can recognize and that immortalizes him for through mass replication. There is also a quote on the Washington Square Arch, and it reads, Let us raise a standard to which the wise and honest can repair. The event is in the hand of God. Washington is commenting on how God set the future, and all he can do is keep himself and the government at high standard since he is the first president. All these features help to give off a patriotic and nationalistic feel that is similar to the Arc de Triomphe in France. The arch is important because it brings people together under a known figure, which is Washington. Creating a nationalistic and patriotic feeling, the arch is another tool used to immortalize Washington. The form of the arch also lasted from the Roman times, so it is a seemingly permanent structure.